I'm going to record this. Uh, I'm still undecided on whether or not I'm... I, I think it would be boring for me to record every minute I ever play of this game. Although, I could just not upload it. But, uh, I never know when cool stuff is going to happen. I remember I was playing the game the first time, and uh, just walking along, and suddenly a giant eyeball, I mean like a giant eyeball, came out of nowhere and attacked me. How do I know when that's going to happen? How do I know I'll be able to, you know, catch it in time? Alright, merchant, go home. Go to your home. Don't you want to be in your home? Alright, get down here. Come on. Come on. There we go. That's a good merchant. Now, someone told me that these, uh, these freaks can only walk or jump or fall two spaces worth of room. If this is true... You know what? I'm just going to go through the house to come get you. There we go. See? See how easy that was? Hey, don't you run away from me when I'm talking to you. Thank you. Alright, so if it is true that they can only walk up two spaces, there. These guys are trapped. They may never leave ever, ever again. They're stuck there forever. Now, getting back to the recording issue. Um, I don't want to record everything that I do. Um, I don't want to upload <laughs> everything that I do. Unless, of course, that's what you guys want to watch because it's boring. I think it would be boring to watch every minute of the game. Um, but that's just me. I mean, I watch every minute of... Uh, Total Biscuit and Jesse Cox. I think that's the guy's name. OMFG Kata. What am I doing even over here? I'm supposed to be heading back to the cave, but I kind of got on a on a landscaping, terraforming bent over here. Bonk, bonk, bonk. And that one, and that one, and that one, and... Oop. Cut that grass. Fill in that hole. And man, do I feel so much better about my OCD. So... Yeah, I'm undecided. Uh, go ahead, please leave comments. Although, I still I don't even know when I'm going to upload this. I recorded and uploaded two episodes over the weekend. And now it's Monday, and I wanted to play this game a little bit. But at the same time, um, I don't want to just switch playing Terraria all the time on my channel. Um, so I'm playing this on Monday. I'm recording it just because I don't know if I want to record every moment I'm playing or not. And, uh, click. I also, I mean, even if you do want to see everything that I play, it creates these gigantic files. And I don't like deleting the raw footage files until after I have uploaded the rendered video and everything is good. Only at that moment do I feel safe deleting anything. Uh, so usually I don't delete files until I'm recording the next video. Whether, you know, whatever video it might be. One of these days I'll actually talk about the game I'm playing rather than everything else. Wait. And, uh, as you'll know by now, this was Nintendo Theme Week. I haven't even played the very first game I'm going to do for Theme Week uh, as of this recording. But, ooh, look at that. That was awesome. I know that you'll enjoy it greatly. Okay, how far down does the rabbit hole go? Pretty far, if I remember correctly. Uh, I got down here. I got lucky in that there's such a long passageway that I didn't have to... Oh, you punk! 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 Die! That was a little bit... A little bit careless of me. Eat another one of those mushrooms. I'm not particularly happy with the giant crunchy sound effect. Uh, I have not met a mushroom in my life that crunches. Mushrooms tend to be soft, fleshy things. Ah! Punk! Jerk, and I hate you. Thank you. So, if I ever bit into a mushroom and it crunched... Ugh. It just doesn't seem very appetizing to me. I know there's quite a few people who don't like mushrooms. Um... I think you're weird because mushrooms are delicious, but I kind of understand if it, if mushrooms were crunchy, then I would have no issue with people not particularly liking them. Haha! -ha. I love being underwater and killing gels because you guys can't touch me and I can just sit here and swing my sword. 
click my mouse a million and a half times and kill you. The other thing that I wanted to talk about was the fact that I'm not sure what I'll do when the new patch comes out. I was originally, well, now that I know that the new patch is supposed to add the death equals dead functionality into the hardcore mode, I kind of want to restart the game. Uh, is this iron? It looks like iron. Uh, let's go ahead and just put down a nice little platform. It is! Hooray! I like iron. So, I might have to restart and build a whole new world uh, when that comes out. Which, you know, not ideal, but what you gonna do? Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Can I make torches on my own, or do I have to have a, a workbench? Come on, die. Thank you. I can make torches on my own. Make a couple torches. Thank you. And there's some copper. And this copper is going to be more difficult to get at. Eh, she? Got some copper, she? Is that stone? Yeah. Oh, well. I'll do that just to lower the water level a bit. Okay, one of my favorite little tricks. It's not even a trick. But, since on the back wall with the stones in it, you can't build for some reason. Uh, but you can build like this. And by doing it this way, it just lets you get uh, s these floating platforms, as it were. Oh, gee, I'm one stinking level of height off from getting that other copper. There we go. You know what? I'll just take some extra dirt with me while I'm at it. Did that... <laughs> that torch moved over when I built that. That was dumb. Dumb with a capital B. But the B comes at the end of the word. Exactly. That, and then I touch my nose so that you understand that that's the secret. And that we understand each other here. And I love doing that. One of the things I like to do is I would dig around and then I would put a hole underground and then stick the torch in it. And I just thought that that was, uh, it doesn't really serve a purpose per se, but that was my usual method so that I didn't have to worry about finding a place. Oh, wait, glow stick. Okay. Someone told me glow sticks work outside of the water and it's not that they're saying uh, works when wet means it only works when it's wet, but that it still works when it's wet. Which makes sense. And uh, so I can actually use glow sticks to illuminate. Click. Alright. Let me just do that. And drain the water. Wow. Drain a little bit slower. Grab my glow stick. And there is nothing down here and I might just have killed myself if not for my ability to do that. Okay, so this is a dead end. Now what I do with dead ends is I like to light them up so that I don't end up going into them in the future. And Because uh, normally if I get to the end of a tunnel and I see something like that where I can go through it, if that glow stick wasn't down there, there would just be darkness here. And so I would want to go back down uh, ooh, hey look, emeralds. Okay. So, give me a torch, and let's use the, uh, underground light trick. Click, 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 click. Get me some emeralds. I like precious, precious stones. I was gonna say something. My brain literally just now stopped working for a second. I don't particularly uh, recommend this ever happening again, but it happened once before. Okay, give me a glow stick. And I don't see any more ground, any, like, any anything I can go through. I'll leave that torch where it lies. And now we gotta go find somewhere else to explore. I'm also gonna put a torch here. Only because there's so much darkness down there that I'm not quite sure what's going on. And if I were to come this way again, I would want to explore. <laughs> like right up here, too. I'm using up so many torches. Click. But I like the place to be well lit. Until I get uh, a spell or become more intimately familiar with the cave system. Do you want to get up closer where I can hit you? 
All right, let's try. Try. Uh. Oh. Oh. Ho. 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 Man, I hate you. All right. Give me. Throw that down there. I see some iron that I might get. But otherwise, this is going to cost me some life. Ah! Punk! No, no! Get back, get back, get back, get back. There we go. Heal. And you're dead. Good. Wait to heal up some more, and while we are waiting, let us dig out this iron. Iron is a precious metal. Which, actually, iron is not technically a precious metal, but... And now I'm underwater where I am safe. Ha! Huh. You cannot get me. One more. Are you dead yet? You're, well, I mean, obviously you're not quite dead yet, but are you close to being dead yet? Alright, what's under here? Pots. I don't mind getting some pots, including some healing. And I will put a torch under here just to light that up. And again, I don't see any cave systems, uh, except for, of course, this one. You know, the blindingly obvious cave system that's right here. So I'll go ahead and drain out this water. You know what? Let's do that. And see what lies below. Need some light. Yeah. Don't want to go... i thinking I don't want to drain all of the water out of there. Grab some sand. I need some sand. Sand lets me make glass blocks. I don't have any sand at present. And I do like glass... Did I say glass blocks? Well, glass blocks is true, but I was actually thinking about bottles. Ooh! I found the, the mother load down here. Alright. Get right there, and let's start mining me some copper. See, this would be what I would consider a boring section of the game. Something that I'm sure... Ad... Well, actually, I was about to say, something I'm sure Adkit would edit out of his videos, but... Actually, his last video consisted of him and Katarina doing nothing but <laughs> essentially mining an island to nothing. Alright, is this clay? It is. I want clay, too. And I want the cobwebs. I just want everything, man. Let's see if I do that. I love the smart placement of the torches. Um, I'm sure at some point that could come back and be detrimental but at the moment, I like that when you are by a block that your torch is on, and you clip it, well, clip it, if you mine it out, that it moves. Okay, give me that. Equip my awesome sword of awesome. I need some light. Okay, forget the light. We're just going to have to kill stuff. No, 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 no. No! 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 <laughs> I don't know where they are! I can hear them in the darkness! Coming for me. Seeking my blood. Man, that thing hurts like... It hits like a truck! Ow! Heal! Heal! Keep clicking and heal! <laughs> there we go. There we go. Not dead quite yet. You can't have me. I am not ready to go. Give me my torch back. I'm not wasting torches right now. That is not on the docket. Give me that. Come over here and grab this copper. Actually, before I do that, put a dirt block down. <laughs> because that will allow me to get back up. I'll take some mud. Why not? People like mud sometimes. We'll just head over here. And mine this copper out. This is... The tedium of gathering the copper, I'm not as fond of. And I, notice, I know that I use tedium to describe this game a lot, but it's true. Um, I can't imagine people find standing around holding down, you know, the button and mining to be the a particularly fun part of the game. It doesn't strike me as one of the the main draws of Terraria. Um, but once you actually... I mean, it is kind of fun to explore the... Whoa, okay, I don't want to do that again. That was dangerous and stupid. And I just seem to be all about dangerous and stupid things at the moment. Okay, get back over here. 
You know what? Throw a glow stick. Wow, that kind of goes down, doesn't it? Alright, now... Dig out the bottom one, hop up. Dig out the top one, hop up again. Gotta be smarter, gotta think. You can't just rush into things like you're used to. Because now there are actual consequences to death. Well, not really actual consequences as far as the game is concerned. But, uh... You know, your own self-imposed rules. Now here, I would fall and maybe die. So I'm going to want to just come over and make that secure. And I'll do that, and I'll do that, and I'll get up here. That heart is good. It goes well with my mushroom, which is delicious. Oh, hey, good. I'm not stuck, which is not... Well, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. One day... One day, I promise, I will be awake when I record, and because of that, I will actually be lucid, and uh, I will make sense, and you will not be consistently and terrifyingly confused by my, my prattlings, my inane, meaningless, terrible... Ugh attempts at saying things get me out of here get me out of here get me out of here okay right there put a dirt block here put a dirt block there uh yeah you know what that's good enough now normally we would head up that way this time i'm going to put a block here and go up this way save myself a little whoa hey dang lag my whole computer when you die zombie or whatever you hit down there died. It made a noise as if something was dying. It cried out as like millions of voices suddenly being silenced. And then my computer lagged and I almost missed it. In fact, I think I did miss that jump. Ah, crud. I didn't ask for you to be around. I didn't say, hmm, you know what I would love to see right now? An eyeball. One that was so bouncy that it made it very difficult to kill and thus took more time and effort than normal. Okay. Get up here. Oh! Wait, do I have any? No. There's another eyeball coming, like, right for me. It's coming right for us! Give me my shuriken. Oh, jeez. Thank you. Your lens is well appreciated, citizen. There we go. Collect my shuriken. These are actually kind of cool weapons. I didn't get any until after I had gotten a, a decent enough weapon that I didn't care about it last time, so I never used it. I also never made great use of a bow. Um, I used it for a little while, a little bit. I noticed, like, uh, I used it for a while because I had noticed Total Biscuit using his bow so much that I figured it must be a good weapon. Okay, there you go. Yeah, that's right take it. And I want to grab another lens. Uh, the only reason why I'm stopping to fight these eyeballs is... Oh, get under there. Isn't this the exact block last time I said I didn't like where I placed it? There we go. That's better. Um, because I want the lenses, because when you combine the two lenses, you get a pair of goggles, and the goggles, rather than doing nothing, actually increase your defense. And I'm quite low on defense. I have a defense of two at the moment, which is pitiful compared to what I'm used to. I wouldn't even put on a piece of armor that gave me two defense, which is exactly what I did, actually. Yeah, two defense. But when I get the rest of the copper armor, which, uh, how much copper? I found 49 copper. That should be enough to get one more piece of it, but not the full set. Maybe the full set. I doubt the full set. I don't recall offhand how many uh, pieces of copper it takes to build a bar. Probably quite a few. And then there's the alcohol and all kinds of stuff you got to grab. Okay, come down here and give me copper bars. No, get back, get back. Get back to where you once belonged. Get back, Jojo. Okay, I have exactly 20, which is enough to make... The Greaves, and I will get the Greaves. Thank you. 
I have gold enough for a few gold bars. Thank you. And iron. I have five iron. So I can make a chain or a bucket. Oh, no, I have more iron at, at my disposal. I don't have hooks. I'm nowhere near getting hooks, but I want to get my grappling hook ASAP because it's just such a good tool. Um... Here, 10 damage over 7. That's 3 extra damage per swing. Which would be nice. Go ahead and just give me a bunch of glass, because there's really no reason to keep sand around. Sand by itself does nothing. And the last thing I do before I end the video, I'm going to make a window. I hope that this actually works the way I want it to. I can imagine that it won't. Okay, there's a tiny, stupid-looking little window. Go ahead and give me this block, and... Wow. And it blocks you from walking, which is exactly what I was hoping wouldn't happen. So, yeah, the only way I can make a window is to actually just break the wall in the background. Which lets monsters spawn, so not going to do that. Okay. I think I might do that when I make my stone castle part of the house. Haha, <laughs> I have a bunny now. Oh, wait, can I get the bunny down below? Don't leave me, bunny. Stay in here. Oh. Yeah, when I build a nice big stone castle, I'm going to make uh, big windows in the back. And I'll make sure that I have a really tall area so that I can put the windows up top and not have them... No, 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 no! Dang it! Thank you. Okay, merchant, you stay away. Anything else I need to do right before I end the video? Um, I can't make anything with those emeralds yet. I only have one lens. Did I have another lens in the box? Maybe I have a lens? No, I don't. All right, let's put stuff away. Iron, copper, gold, a lens, which I don't need, a sand block, which I don't really care about, uh, arrows, which I don't need because I don't have a bow, emeralds, I'll keep the gel, I'll keep the wood. Don't need the seeds yet. I have 18 clay blocks. Did I eat, like, all my mushrooms and then just got one mushroom back? Uh, cobwebs. Actually, let's make a bunch of... I have a whole bunch of cobwebs. So let's make some silk. Silk is made at the table thing, not at the, uh, the forge. That would be some weird silk that you're making at the forge. <laughs> okay. Actually, it'd be pretty, pretty cool silk that you're making at the forge. Alright, that's good enough. Until next time, bye-bye.